Hi everyone, welcome to our one ball and one cone individual ball mastery training session. We'll take plenty of skills, practice on both feet, and we'll make sure we're working hard on keeping that ball under close control. The session is great for players training on their own in their garden or in a small space, but the main aim is to continue getting lots of touches on the ball while giving you a good workout. So our first activity here is the touch and roll. Looking at touching the ball forwards, sweeping it back and then rolling across your body with your studs. We wanna get players trying to get grip on the ball and making sure they have the balance and the ability to move the ball from one foot to the other, keeping it under control and making sure they are assertive with their touch and confident with how they're moving the ball. As we move on now, we're looking at the roll stop step. So begin to try and start dropping your shoulder. As you just step off the ball, the foot that steps off the ball steps to the side, dropping that shoulder, making it look like you're gonna be moving away from your opponent. This is really important, helping you develop body movement in with skill as well. And as we're doing it, little checks just to see what's around you, getting your chin up, raising those eyebrows so you can see what's ahead of you and keep the ball under the control at the same time. To progress from the roll stop step, we're now doing a roll stop step, but then adding in an outside touch. So as you can see here, using the right side, I'm rolling it across, stopping the ball onto my left foot, and then with the outside of my right boot, I'm just pushing the ball back across and behind that yellow cone onto the other side of it. As I'm doing this, it's just teaching me to drop that shoulder and have a little change of direction. You can pick up the speed and the pace of the drill as you improve and feel more comfortable, but make sure you're dropping that shoulder and pushing the ball with the outside of your foot. Always use both feet and practice both sides. You wanna become both footed and this is great for doing that. Now we're looking at combining the skills that we've done. So we're sweeping it across our body and pushing it out our feet with the outside of the boot. As we've done that, we get it back under control to start by pushing it forwards and then rolling it back and across again. We wanna move on to both feet. So focus on keeping that control and being assertive with your touch, getting the grip and the confidence on the ball to push it and manipulate it to exactly where you want it to go. One of the key areas here is keeping your balance. So as you can see, my body weight is central. I'm not leaning too far forwards or to the side and I am making sure that my knees are bent. With this, it allows me to keep balance and keep control of the ball. As a progression, we're now bringing in an outside touch and an inside touch. So we're still doing the same thing. But as we've stopped the ball, we are now taking a touch on the outside of our boot the other side of the cone and the inside of our boot will bring it back in towards the starting position. So we want to just make sure now that we're developing a quick change of direction so that we can move the ball quickly from one foot to the other while dropping our shoulder just in case you get in a situation in the game where you need to move away from your opponent quickly. This will help greatly with that and really develop your close control and your quick feet on the ball. We're going to try and start making it a little bit more tricky now. And just to start with that, we're just going to look by, at bringing in a step over, or some may call it a scissors. All we're doing is stopping that ball, rolling it across your body and getting that little step over him, taking the ball to the other side of the cone. Use the cone as a reference point so you can stop the ball right behind it, step over and then take it to the other side of your body. Make sure you're focused on keeping good body weight and balance and dropping that shoulder as you do so. If we look here, we are now progressing the roll stop step over. So we perform the roll stop step over, but now we're doing three extra touches at the end of it. So we step over and touch the ball to the side with the outside of our boot. Inside brings it back in toward the cone and then the outside moves it back across to the other side again. We're looking at trying to change direction and shift feet, allowing us to have quick feet and control on the ball.
The L turn's a great way of moving away from an opponent if you're in a tight situation. So here we're just pushing that ball forwards, dragging it back and with the inside of the foot knocking it across and behind that standing leg. As we do that, our other foot then comes along and collects it and pushes that ball across the other side of the comb. We're just focusing on sorting out our feet, getting our balance and keeping that control on the ball as we're changing direction. As we're progressing with this now, we are starting to make it quite a bit trickier. And we've got what's called the L turn and some step over combinations. So we perform the L turn, bring it across our body and then step over. As we get it back onto that left side, we're now doing a touch and step over. So with the inside of the big toe, you're clipping the ball and then stepping over around it. So we're looking at changing direction, using our body movement to help create space to be able to perform the skill and also developing that balance and skill on both sides of the body. So at the moment we started off on the right side, completing the step overs on the left foot. As we progress, we're going to swap sides and make sure we are comfortable using both sides of the body. As you get better and feel more comfortable, increase the speed. But initially it's technique first of all. Build up the technique, getting the movement right, and then the speed will come. But we mustn't go too quick and miss out some of the steps, losing our control and losing balance. We keep going, keep focusing on that balance and that close control and making sure we practice both feet. Remember to develop the speed as you improve. But what we're gonna be doing now is coming to the end of the session. So practice this a few times a week and you'll really develop your close control and skill on the ball. Thanks for watching. There's our one cone ball mastery challenge there. Just developing the skill on the ball, the balance and the coordination, moving from one foot to the other. And all you need to do a session like that with one cone and one ball. Perfect for the garden or at home. Thanks guys. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Hit the little alarm bell next to the notification box and you'll get notified of every single YouTube video that we upload. Thanks and we'll see you next time.